friends in this video i will teach you an error which i got when i was working with android studio i was developing a react native mobile app i opened my react native project in android studio if you don't know how to open react native project in android studio please watch my previous video in this video i have already opened my react native project on android studio then i click on sync project with the gradle files let us uh, do it again i clicked on in that on that icon sync project with the gradle files if you go to build you can see what is happening let me close this pop-ups look at here build successful in seven seconds it takes only a little bit time uh, for me my project is very small so it completed in seven seconds now let us try to run this application on the emulator click on this icon run app look at here i got the error error running app no target device found from this run so if you carefully look at here after this app there is an option to select the device on which we have to run or install the app for test purpose purpose from this android studio when you click here it already show no devices that means we have two options first one is we can connect our physical phone physical device with the system and android studio will detect it and we can install or run the application on that physical device otherwise we have to create virtual device look at here this device manager virtual and physical in virtual we can create our own device like emulator phone tablet Wear OS, desktop tv automotive and uh, uh, the size of the phone or size of the tablet everything you can choose and if you move to the next level you can select the api level which version of the android studio android we can use in this android studio for this uh, particular emulator model so by this way when you create and create a, a emulator on the android studio or by connecting a physical device we can easily solve this error running app no target device found i hope this is understandable thank you